I want to talk about the possibilities of a well-known program, which is easy to learn and gives a wide range for use. But as the numerous reviews I have seen have shown, its capabilities have been little studied by users. This is Adobe Animate. Previously this program was called Flash. I have seen many reviews of 2D programs in which this program was given a very modest role. The authors of these reviews, as they knew the program very superficially, or didn't know at all, but repeated almost verbatim someone's opinion had in other reviews, are designed for novice users, which is of no interest to those who want to achieve a more highly artistic result. In this video I will talk about the features of the program that I use myself. So, one of the most frequently heard accusations against developers is that supposedly the program practically does not change, only the name of the program changes. Yes, the program has immutable function and the stable interface design, but this is more of a plus than a minus. The program is very logical, this makes the program easy to learn and user friendly, and even if innovations are introduced, the users can easily find them. The extraordinary convenience of the timeline. In the same keyframe, the animated object can be moved into the document field, resized, rotated, distorted and the edited in color and reshaped if it is a shape tween. Not every program has such features that greatly speed up the animation process. Many even experienced users do not know that in order for the bender of the free transform tool to position the objects along the lane and not diagonally, it is necessary to position the objects horizontally or vertically before converting the objects to a symbol. If there are a lot of objects on the timeline, you just need to click on the desired object and it will be selected and the layers of the which the object is located in the be selected, unless of course the layers is locked. This function is also available in most programs. In many programs layers must be signed and searched for by name, which takes a lot of time especially in the right lot of layers and you did not prepare the scene and the abbreviated labels on the layers don't tell you anything, which quite often found in studio project. Started with Flash MX6, this program was released by Macromedia. Yes, back then Flash was created to animate banners, web pages and online games. The creators of the program didn't expect users to start making animations for cartoons in it. And therefore, with a large number of complexly drawn objects, a large number of animation repeatedly nested and symbols, importing large pixeled objects into the program and trying to animate them, the program simply closed, enable without stand such a load. Therefore, the artistic possibilities of the program were somewhat limited. Importing symbols from another document required blank renaming if the document already had a symbol with the same name, which also took a lot of time. There were also limitations in the work of the brush and the possibilities of the line. The use of gradients was not desirable due to the large weight of the such object. The weight of the line was assumed of the same size along the entire lane. There was a limitation of zincness, and the line had the same time on the oval ending. Speeding up or slowing down the movement of objects was limited. It was possible to speed up or slow down the movement of an object only between two keyframes. But even in such a limited program, I experimented with use pixelated object and gradients. And in 2005, Macromedia was taken over by Adobe and the improvement of the program began. Already in Adobe Flash CS6 it was possible to make a large number of nested animations. Animate large bitmap object 
it was not necessary to rename symbols when importing from another document. It became enough to select the put document teams into a folder, item in the pop-up window, and the symbol was pocketed in the library into a folder and quite normally side by side in one document. The number of gradients used began to approach infinity. The tips of the line become of different configurations. The thickness of the line become almost unlimited. It become possible to copy color from the pixel objects important into the document. A library of patterns appeared. Now you can apply filters to the movie clip symbol, blurs, glows, etc. A camera appeared in Adobe Animate, the meaning of which I don't really understand, because even without this function I was possible to do both panoramas and zooms. Liners began to have many different shapes and endings, which increased the possibilities of graphics. A library of brushes appeared and the ability of create your own brushes and animate the image created by these brushes using the twin shape. This made it easy to animate ropes, snakes, tentacles, tails, generally long and flexible objects. Also, I managed to animate them without this function, but I had to do it in several moves. The speed up and slow down of the movement of objects using the Bezier curve was apparent. In the program you can create objects imitated 3D and combine with 3D animation and combine vector object and pixel objects, increasing the range of artistic solution for your project. To clarify, I don't use the bonus system. The rig greatly enslaves the movement of the characters, who is forced to move in the given rage, but this is already a matter of preference. The animation of my channel are interested, then I will write down the description of some of the scenes that I did for my projects. Write in the comments what scenes you would like to see in the next videos. Thank you all for your attention. In the description you can find links to some of my work used in this video. Sorry about my English.